Warm greetings to you all on this second day of the World Humanitarian Summit's regional consultation for South and Central Asia. I am so sorry I can't be with you in person. I had very much hoped to be, but I am required to be in New York. I thank you all for your time and commitment to this vital regional consultation. I can't wait to hear the outcome of your hard work over these two days. This meeting comes at a particularly critical time. There can be no doubt that conflict is the defining humanitarian challenge the world is grappling with today. 2015 has seen the highest number of people displaced from war or conflict since World War II. Today, at least 59.5 million people are now forcibly displaced. Men, women and their sons and daughters have been forced from their homes, their lives shattered. Whether forced to flee or trapped between fighting, civilians and the humanitarian workers that seek to help them are too often targets themselves. Children across the world are facing a new generation of humanitarian crises. Hundreds of thousands of children's lives have been torn apart by war with little prospect of a secure future. It is women and children, elderly and those living with disability who are the most vulnerable, bear the greatest brunt and on whom we must direct the keenest focus. The vast majority of global resources for humanitarian response are now consumed in our efforts to deal with conflict and its long-term effects. 80% of humanitarian work is now in countries and regions affected by conflict. On average, displacement now lasts for 17 years. Protracted crises have become the new normal. We need to change the way we operate. Humanitarian assistance, which is designed to address immediate needs, is not the answer, uh, the long-term answer, to problems that span generations. Continued reliance on humanitarian aid disempowers effective people and perpetuates dependency. There must be a better way forward. Today is part of the process of finding that better way. This is no easy task. I urge you to seize this unique opportunity that this final regional consultation offers to share your knowledge and expertise, help us solve some of the most intractable humanitarian challenges, not just of our time, but of all time, and help to create real change for the better. We have no choice but to be bold, come up with new and creative ideas and develop a new humanitarian architecture appropriate for the world we live in today and responsive to the people we serve. Our fellow men, women and children need and deserve nothing less.